Folks, you know that I love Corbridge. I love Corbridge for their accumulation story, their income story. Most importantly to all of that is their renewal rate integrity. Uh, they're great people. They have a huge amount of integrity when it comes to their renewal rates. You know, for instance, the accumulation story, an 11 and a quarter cap on a plain vanilla S&P 500 strategy. That's excellent. What reasonable client on earth would say, man, so you mean to tell me that uh, that if the market goes up 20, then 11.5% uh, cap, you're going to keep 8.5%. That's unacceptable. Now, they may question why that is that the company does that, but I've never had a client balk at not being able to get more than 11 and a quarter percent. Uh, just as importantly, actually more importantly, is that integrity uh, in the renewal rates. Uh, Corebridge is one of the best in the industry that I have seen when it comes to, hey, the rate that your policy is issued at, it will probably renew at a rate the same or similar to what it was issued at. And history shows that they've been very good at that. So I love the accumulation story. I also love the income story. You know, Corebridge has a 10% roll up, guaranteed 10% simple roll up on their income benefit base. And that goes until age 95 period, until age 95. There is no 10-year limitation, no 15-year limitation. If you're 50 years old and put $100,000 into that policy, all the way to age 95, you will get that 10% simple roll-up. Now, that's an exaggeration. Who would wait till age 95 to take income? But you get what I'm talking about there. No 10-year limitations. In addition, the most important thing to GLWB benefits is usually the payout factors. They have excellent payout factors. You know, for instance, 7% for a person age 65. Now, this has gotten even better. Now that it took me about three minutes to get to the actual point here, they now have an enhanced income benefit. So it's not just, hey, if you put in $100,000 at age 65 and activate income immediately, you get $7,000 forever. It is now not just that. So in that example, if you have that $7,000 per year coming in, here is, here is the benefit that they've added. And that benefit is what I call a nursing home doubler. And it goes like this. If at any time after the second year, that is, that's one of their limitations. If any time after the second year, you are confined to a nursing care facility, then what happens is that $7,000 in my example, it doubles. Whatever that payout is, it doubles. It doubles for a period of five years or until the client's actual account value hits zero. And what happens when that client's actual account value hits zero? Well, the nursing home doubler doesn't double anymore. It goes back to the original $7,000 that I talk about in my example. So the maximum period of time for that doubler is a period of five years or the account value hitting zero, whatever comes first. Here are my thoughts on these doublers. I like them. I like them a lot. Um, not because they're a long-term care alternative. I mean, so in my example, $100,000, you know, it's going to generate five years of income at $14,000, right? Uh, I don't think anybody on earth would say that $14,000 is going to take care of a huge chunk of a person's long-term care. But here's what I like about those nursing home doublers. The goal with these GLWBs should be to get your account value to zero as quick as possible. Uh, to oversimplify it, why is that? because that is where you are getting into the pocket of the insurance company, right? That is my favorite part of the illustration to point out is when that client's account value hits zero, but the income keeps coming in. Mrs. Client, if you were otherwise in another type of product here, what would happen to that income? It would stop, but with this product, it continues. And what these nursing home doublers do is they help that client get to zero quicker, if that makes sense. Well, first of all, it gives them more income in those years that are important when you're in a nursing care facility, for example. But in addition to that, it accelerates the process of getting more into the insurance company's pocket. And that's why I like these income doublers. Disclaimer here, uh, if you choose a joint payout, it's not a double, it's a 1.5 times. Uh, hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions or need any illustrations on any clients that you're working with right now.